all right guys so today we're looking at tuning an mw2 if you don't know once you max out your gun in mw2 you could tune certain attachments and today we're going to look at the optic so with the optic we're specifically looking at eye position and seeing how much the idle sway is compared to like close far and in the regular eye position so let's go ahead and go in the fire range this right now is at the normal default range i'm backing up all the way to the walls so you guys can see and so this is how it normally looks right there is a little bit of idle sway when i'm pointing right at the dummy's head but if we go back and we tune it to close you'll see that there's actually a lot more idle sway look at that a lot more idle sway compared to uh it just being in its regular default position now if we go back and we actually change the tuning to far it reduces this idle sway which can help improve your shots you see how much less it, it like sways when you're standing here compared to when it's really up close and then let's go ahead and compare the i guess like visual recoil of this far compared to close so this is far all right guys so that's with me pulling down on uh, my mouse and then if we go back and we change it to close, you can just see how much more visual recoil there is when you're putting this to the max close. So there's a lot more visual recoil. There's a lot more shake when it comes to the uh, optic here. So if you guys are maxing out your gun, and you guys want to like maximize your accuracy. I definitely recommend switching this tuning to far if you're running an optic if you're not running an optic that's not an issue um also one more thing if you guys want this cronin optic it is in the shotgun section for the expedite and you have to level this thing up to level seven to get this blue dot so just a quick little tip about tuning your optic and trying to have better recoil and visual recoil so if you guys like this video do me a favor smash that like button and subscribe we are close to 500 it would be great if we could get there and comment down below what do you guys think about this tuning in mw2 peace